All right, welcome back to the Friday Briefing. Many thanks for staying with us. It's the second hour and things can only get better. Still in studio, Josh Manu, um, telling us a little bit more about himself. Well, we had started the conversation yeah. earlier on. <laughs> I wish I could remember what uh. we had talked about, but mm. a couple of things stood yeah. out, you yeah. know, in terms of uh, being in the industry yeah. and you know, cherishing and starting a family right yeah, now. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about the family. I'm sure they're watching um, back at home. I think, I think even as, as a public figure, you need to have a life. So have, having a family was part of my, me just having a life, just making those decisions that maybe were unpopular or unexpected or yeah, something like that. But it was, yeah. it was just me having a life, you know? So, and, and I've made sure that consistently I have that as part of, of me. You know, I need to have friends who, who don't just see me as a public figure, just yeah. see me as Josh, people who we can just hang out with. So for me, it was just part of my life plan that I'm enjoying, that um, I know they're watching right now. They yes. have to watch, they have no option. <laughs> um, maybe Anna is disturbing a little bit, yeah. uh, or maybe she's asleep. She's still a baby, she can't recognize much, but yeah. But it's a blessing in It's a blessing. Life. Yeah, is, you can tell is. the difference before <laughs> and after, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. amazing. Let's talk about the year that was 2018. Yes. It was tough musically, yeah. not just for, you know, Amos and Josh yeah. as a group, you know, in terms of mm. um, releasing music, but mm. also playing Kenyan music. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about that, you know. Well, um, <laughs> uh, going forward 2019, you know, <laughs> should we expect to listen to, like, mm. you know, 100% Kenyan music on local radio stations? Mm. What, what is the, the goal? What is the aim with playing local music? I think... It's, it's a hard culture to drive in, I must say, because Kenya yeah. is a very capitalistic country. Yes. At the end of the day, it's about making money. Um, and many people, the media actually looks, is a business. The media is a whole business frontier. Mm -hmm. But I hope Kenyans will, Kenyans will start being selfish with ourselves, just like other industries have been, where we decide that this is our child and we are willing to give them everything. You know, we are willing to give them everything to see them grow. Um, other industries have done it and it has worked for them. That's why we are so marveled about bongo music. We are yeah. so marveled about Niger. We are so marveled about SA. SA that pay, plays 80%. Actually, now it's even 100%. 100. They play their own yeah, music. They, they just play their own music. Talent. Yeah. Actually, a young artist in SA has such a big chance of being known globally. Because first of all, notice they they started with influencing us even with their stations. Yes. Like there's, there's a Kachanelo playing in yeah, Kenya, you know. Yeah. So, um, we need to be selfish with our own. And I think it goes across board, even with our athletes, um, our, our actors and stuff like that. We need to be selfish yes. with our own and decide that these are our children, uh, these, are, these industries are, are our kids. Let's not, let's stop telling our kids, be like the neighbor's kid. Be yes. like the neighbor. Instead, give our kid what the neighbor is giving their kid and making them so special. And, so, uh, and you yeah. make them greater, you know? Exactly. A as we conclude, um, very final, um, mm. music-wise, you yeah. guys have been chilled in 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you know this e e industry, <laughs> me about visibility, Minorma, you know, if know. they don't hear you, <laughs> if they don't see you, yeah. they just might forget yeah. about you. Yeah. True. So coming back with a punch yeah. might be, must be a name in 2019. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just take us through that briefly. Um, I have a low plan. Um, Ordinary Folk is out. You can go check it out on YouTube. Um, but I have a low plan. Collabos then. If I decide to release an album today, I can launch an you album can. today. You can. The content is yeah, there. Yeah, the content is there. Yes. Now we're just working on the videos. Um, there are a few collabos in there um, that have been done already. Um, I have a good team by my side. So um, it's about consistency. I think that is our motto. This year we have to hit hard because... I actually, I'm treating myself like an upcoming artist, Aww. like I'm starting. Because you're starting yeah, all over I'm again. I'm starting all I mean, over again. Yeah, so I have it's to, a solo project. Yeah, I have uh -huh. to hit and really hit hard. And these are conversations that we've had as Amos and Josh. Okay. Even when, when we come back together to do um, um, projects as Amos and Josh, we have to hit hard. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So you yeah. can rule out the possibility yeah. of We still Amos. do projects together. Ah, we have amazing. projects together. That's yeah. amazing. We're definitely looking yeah. forward. I'm sure 2019 will be amazing here in terms yeah. of content yes. produced locally, you yeah. know, in terms of music yeah. as well. And I'm sure you'll be right there flying. And I'm actually producing as well. And producing. I produced Ordinary Folk. Well, 
so a man of many uh, we're doing it this time okay that's amazing <laughs> many thanks, thanks for making time thank you and keep pushing man thank 2019 you, is meant to be a fantastic year Amen. yes yes and say hi to the family as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um okay so that was um josh manu um i'm sure you got to know a little bit more about him and it is amazing you know the resilience and the drive and to actually come come out a new person you know in terms of building a brand that is something we definitely look up to